And mind you, I'm so like, I hate saying drugged up, but that's just what it is. I was so drugged up that I couldn't really, like I was processing what was going on. Ew, my mouth was so dry. I just remember it being like three nurses in here. I had to put the mask back on for oxygen. They were like waiting on the baby and stuff. Um, I was in so much pain. I, I got the epidural in now. And like, I kept having contractions before I got the epidural in, so I, my attitude was like real stank. When I'm in pain, like, please don't touch me. <laughs> like, just don't touch me, don't say nothing. My mom was like trying to kiss me and rub. I'm like, listen, please don't. I know them doctors was like, ooh, she was so sweet until she started hurting. Uh, yeah. So they stopped the Pitocin because they didn't want to like stress the baby out. And so right now I'm just on the epidural. My neck, my legs are numb as shit. I can't feel anything. Uh, which is fantastic. Ooh, child, I need some on my lips. Oh, honey. <laughs> my mama tried to touch me, but she was like, ooh, my bad. I'm telling y'all, my attitude was real thing. I'm like, oh, you can touch me now. I don't feel nothing. <laughs> she just tried to touch me. She was like, oh, wait. I'm like, nah, you straight now. <laughs> I just didn't want to be touched then because I was in too much pain to be playing with y'all. So, I feel great now. Everything's perfectly fine. For the mommies out there that's doing this with no meds, sis, you're the real superwoman. Because I cannot. Ever. I will never. Now that I have the epidural in, I was like, oh, okay, I can have more kids. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. I was so drugged up that I, I knew what was going on. And I knew that there was a lot going on around Boston's heartbeat dropping, but I couldn't. Like, I couldn't react the way probably most people would react, which is probably good, because. Hey, Grandma. But yeah, um, I couldn't react. Like, I couldn't, like, freak out, which is probably good, because I probably wouldn't need to freak out. But, um, yeah, so I couldn't, like, really process what was going on, because I was so, like, damn near drunk basically that's what they say it's a drunk feeling but now i feel great um i'm gonna eat on this ice a little bit my mom's about to go take care of my grandparents she has to go over there like three or four times a day so um i'm expecting my my two brothers my sister-in-law my nephew my dad they'll be up here later on today so luckily they didn't catch my bad attitude because everybody else damn sure have i'm still nervous but i know that boston's gonna be here today i know everything's gonna be fine i'll be looking at the monitor and make sure his heartbeat's still good but yeah that was kind of scary because the second time it happened i was a little bit more aware than the first time but um the doctors are here and they're watching and I've already prayed for me in Boston like since conception so I know that everything's gonna be just fine I will see you guys in my next clip so I just woke up from a little nap and damn it's it's amazing what drugs can do like girl <laughs> I don't want to make it seem like pregnancy easy but uh after you get the epidural though you be like Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I'm just sitting here about to eat some more ice. I can't eat anything. More than anything, I just want to eat. Like, when I get ready to push Boston out, I promise you, I'm going to shock the fuck out these doctors. I'm going to push them out so fast because I'm hungry. Like, I'm hungry. Right now, I actually have what, what you call a peanut ball in between my legs right now. You won't be able to see it because I got all like the covers and stuff under it and there's a towel on it. But um, I got a peanut ball between my legs to kind of help me dilate as well. I wouldn't say I'm in active labor yet, but we getting there child. It's 1227. 
I literally cannot wait to have this baby, like seriously. Um, she'll be in here in probably a couple of minutes, my nurse. Um, so I can flip over to the other side and have the peanut ball in between my legs. We really just trying to get this, we trying to dilate, honey. Well, the last time they checked my cervix, which was like hours ago, I was just at two centimeters. <laughs> my body's so stubborn. But um, she upped the Pitocin and everything every time she comes in here. So we're going to be getting this show on the road. We having this baby today. I don't care what nobody's talking about. Period. Poo. Because I'm ready to get the f ASAP after this. Real talk. <laughs> so... I am, well, they just checked my cervix, and <laughs> I'm officially five centimeters dilated, almost six, y'all. I cannot believe this. I'm so excited. Like, I'm like, about time. I've been waiting on you, Boston. Like, we got so many moves to make, literally. Physically moves, <laughs> literally. We got we got a lot to do. I just cannot wait to meet my baby boy. This is such a blessing, and I'm just really grateful. And yeah, that's all I want to say. Your bitch is ballet. Period. Poo. Uh. But I am also starting to feel that back labor pain again. So. Uh, <laughs> about to hit the epidural button because baby no I don't uh -uh. I don't even want to feel it a little bit no more because after feeling it a lot of it I'm done <laughs> Thank you. 
That's 30 seconds. 